Hello everyone. Welcome to the Theory 1 Lesson 1 Read Back portion of the class. I'm going to dictate very slowly uh, different letters along with briefs, phrases, and sentences. Okay, so I will go at a slow pace. I want you to write those and then after we have completed that portion, you're going to go back, listen to it again, and compare your notes to see how you did. All right, so let's start with just some basic keyboard practice. This will be on your initial side. All right, here we go. Ready? Initial S. Initial T. Initial P. H. Initial S. K, W, initial R, A, O, initial S, K, W, initial R, a, O, initial T, initial P, A, O, K, W, H. All right, moving into our next section. This is going to be keyboard practice, focusing on the final side. Here we go. Everything will be on the final side. F, final P, L, final T, D, final R, B, final G, final S, Z, E, U, final R, B, G, final S, Z, E, U, F, final P, L, final T, D, E, U, F, final P, L, final T, D, Final R. Okay, and if you notice, I am going according to the, the handouts that you received in lesson one, okay? Moving on to keyboard practice, striking two letters at the same time. Here we go, ready? S-A, S-O, S-E, S U T A T O T E T U P A P 
P-O, P-E, P-U, H-A, H-O, H-E, H-U, K-A, K-O, K-E, K-U, W-A, W-O, W-E, W-U, R-A, R-O, R-E, R-U, A-O, E-U, A-F, O-F, E-F, U-F, A-P. So because I said A-P, you know that's final P because it comes after the A. O-P, E-P, U-P, A-L, O-L, E-L, U-L, A-T, O-T, E-T, U-T, A-D, O-D, E-D, U-D, A-R, O-R, E-R, U-R, A-B, O-B, E-B, U-B, A-G, O-G, E-G, U-G, A-S, O-S, E-S, U-S, A-Z, O-Z, E-Z, U-Z, Now I want to point out how important it is that you have both types of learning. So we have the first kind of learning where I'm explaining it in class, you're writing it in your homework, but also the other important factor about learning your theory and the concepts with it is being able to write what you hear. So there's all of these different parts of learning theory. So the first part is writing it uh, by looking down at your uh, handouts, being able to write it that way. Um, the second part of learning theory is being able to read it. And the third part of the theory learning is, aspect of it is being able to write when you hear it being read to you. Okay, so there's three different parts, important aspects of learning your theory. Okay, all right. Now, our next section learning the I, EU for I, 
I'm going to say uh, two letters and I want you to strike them at the same time, focusing on I. And really, I want you to get used to throwing in that RBGS for your comma after every, um, every phrase, every two letters that you strike, okay? SI, so you're gonna strike SI together, lift up, strike your comma. TI, PI, HI, IF, KI, WI, RI, IP, IL, IT, ID, IR, IB, IG, IS, IZ, All right, using our asterisk key. I'm going to give you a letter. I want you to strike the letter and then strike your asterisk key after that to show that you made a mistake. Here we go. S, asterisk key, two different strokes. Initial T, asterisk key. Initial P, asterisk key. H, asterisk key. A, asterisk key. O, asterisk key. K, asterisk key. W, asterisk key. R, asterisk key. E, asterisk key. U, asterisk key. F, asterisk key, final P, asterisk key, L, asterisk key, final T, asterisk key, D, asterisk key, Z, asterisk key, final R, asterisk key, B, asterisk key, G, asterisk key, final S, Asterisk key, Z, asterisk key, I, asterisk key. Now, I'm going to call out either period or comma, and I want you to strike whatever one I dictate to you. Okay, here we go. Period, comma, period, comma, period, period, comma, comma, period, comma. 
All right, brief practice. Here we go. You, he, the, it, you, the, it, he, the, you, it, he, the. Now, if you struggled with that, I want you to go back and listen to it again. You want to be able to hear that brief and write it as soon as you hear it. Okay, you don't want to hesitate. All right, word practice. I'm going to give you a word, and after you write the word, strike your comma. Okay, here we go. At. Rat. Sat. Cat. Hat. Sap. Tap. Cap. Rap. Pap. Cup. Pup. Sup. Tup. Hup. Tip. Sip. Rip. Pip. Hip. Kip. Pop. Rot. Sought. Caught. Taught. Wet. Pet. Set. Ret. Kit. Hit. Sit. Pit. Wit. Rut. Cut. Hut. Tut. Kill. Pill. Hill. Sill. Will. Till. Call. Cuff. Tiff. So. Sought. Sell. Tell. Hell. All right. Now, moving into 
some phrases. I want you to strike your comma after each phrase, okay? And I'll say comma so you know to strike it. Here we go. The set, comma. The pet, comma. The kit, comma. The hit, comma. The pit, comma. The cut, comma. The rut, comma. The hut, comma. The sill, comma. The will, comma. The hill, comma. The pill, comma. The cuff, comma. The tip, comma. The cup. comma the rip comma the sap comma the tap comma the rat comma, the hat, comma, the cat, comma, the cap, comma, to tap, comma, to rip, comma, to sip, comma, to sell, comma, to cut, comma. All right, moving into sentences. You're going to strike your period after the sentence, and I will say period, okay? Here we go. I cap it. Period. You kill. Period. We sat up. Period. You Sell the cap, period. So cut it up, period. 
Now, I'm going to tell you that in the next lesson, you are going to learn about what we call phrases. That's where we take two briefs and put them together, um, or we take a, a brief and a word and we can put it together and combine it. So you're going to learn in the next lesson about it up because you can phrase it up. You can write it all together if you want, T-U-P. It's up to you. So in this lesson, I just encourage you just to write your, your brief for it and then come back for U-P up. But you will learn that in the next lesson, okay? All right. We sell, period. I sat, period. You kill it, period. You cut the top, period. I cut it, period. So he sat up, period. I Tap the sap, period. You tap the till, period. I Tip it, period. We tip the cup, period. Sip it, period. So you tell it, period. You sit up, period. We set it, period. He set it up, period. Cuff the cat, period. Till it, period. I call it. Period. The sot sat up. Period. I tell the cop. Period. The cat 
sat, period, sell the cat, period, the cat sat up. Period. Tell the cat. Period. Okay, so let me just remind you if you struggled with that, you want to go back and practice it again. Um, I always encourage you to do the handouts first visually looking at them and writing what you see, doing those three times, at least three times, I prefer four, before you listen to the read back portion of the class. That's why we have it in two different sections. So please do not try to tackle this before you complete your uh, handouts. Okay, so you wanna do that first. Visualize the work, write it as you're looking at it, do that at least three times, then go back and read it, make your corrections, and then this is your final step before moving on to the next lesson, listening to the audio part of the class. And if you have already done your lesson three to four times and you listen to the audio and you feel like you're still a little rusty or you're, you're having... Uh, some challenges, go back and listen to the audio again. It never hurts to listen to it. Listen to it as many times as, as you possibly can. Uh, th th again, the, the stronger your foundation in theory is, the faster you're going to move in, into the speed classes, okay? Always remember that. So you're only cheating yourself if, you're, if you move on to the next lesson and, and if you're not ready for it it's going to affect you when you get into speeds, okay? All right, so this concludes our Theory 1, Lesson 1, Read Back portion of the class. Have a wonderful day.